recent machinery takes you to visit a copper smelting factory, which uses a 150-ton reverberatory furnace. This is some scrap copper. There will be impurities such as insulating coating on these scrap coppers, which will produce black smoke when burned. Decent Machinery installed a dust removal system for the reverberatory furnace to remove the black smoke produced during copper smelting. Now the reverberatory furnace is preheating and you can feel the heat with your hands. Next let's take a look at the dust removal system. This dust removal system is divided into two parts, one is on the top of the furnace. The other part is at the bottom of the furnace. There is an underground flue at the bottom of the furnace that leads the dust to the dust removal system. Let's first look at the set on the top of the furnace. This is the pipe on the top of the furnace that leads to the dust removal system. When smelting copper, decent machinery needs to consider the reduction method of copper, that is, how to remove the impurities produced when smelting copper. There are generally two ways to remove impurities, one is natural gas, and the other is wood. The method used by this copper factory to remove impurities is wood. The temperature of the dust generated on the furnace top is generally between 200 and 300 degrees Celsius, so there is no need to use a cooling system. The dust first enters the cyclone dust collector, and the heavy particles are initially filtered through the action of centrifugal force. Then enter the baghouse. A fan is connected behind the bag house, and a scrubber is connected behind the fan. Since the system we are looking at now doesn't require a scrubber, the fan is directly connected to the chimney to achieve emission standards. If a scrubber is needed, decent machinery will integrate the scrubber with the chimney to save installation space, decent machinery will show you the scrubber later. Next, let's take a look at the dust removal system at the bottom of the furnace. There is an underground flue through which dust enters the dust removal system. The underground flue is connected to this pipe. You can see the degree of rust of this pipe. Because this customer wants to save costs, the material used is Q235 carbon steel. The main reason for the rust of the pipe is the temperature of the dust in the flue. It is relatively high and corrodes the pipe material. This is a constant temperature system that Decent Machinery designed specifically for customers in the smelting industry. Because the temperature of the dust generated by the furnace is different at different stages, in order to improve the cooling efficiency. Decent Machinery designed a constant temperature system through PLC programming. This system can automatically detect the temperature of the dust and transport it to different pipelines for cooling according to the temperature. After the temperature reaches the standard, it enters the cyclone dust collector. This is a gravity settling chamber. We can judge the temperature of dust through the rust of pipes. After the dust temperature drops, it will enter the cyclone dust collector through this pipe. This is a cyclone dust collector. The principle is to preliminarily filter heavy particles through the action of centrifugal force. Then it enters the baghouse through the pipe. We will connect a fan behind the baghouse. This fan is smaller than the dust collector on the stove top because the amount of dust on the top of the skull is larger and the airflow of the fan is also larger. The back of the fan is connected to the chimney to ultimately achieve emission standards. Next, let me tell you how scrubber works.
In order to save space, Decent Machinery has designed the scrubber and the chimney into one unit. On the top of the chimney, Decent Machinery will install online monitoring equipment and monitor all data in real time in a remote room. Next, Decent Machinery will show you the copper rod production line. 